Hello folks, it's been a while since I posted a video. Uh, been busy with uh, my teaching job and other bits and bobs, doing a lot of setups. Uh, I've run into uh, a few guitars uh, by a certain brand and so I thought I'd do a video on two different models. If you haven't heard of Tanglewood, um, they're a British or a UK uh, guitar manufacturer, although only their, their t the top echelon of their line is made in Britain. Um, most of their budget uh, models are made uh, in Asia. So uh, I've got a couple of small body electric acoustics that I think are really interesting. This one here is a really nice cedar and black walnut model and it comes with the, the um, Tanglewood uh, EX4 chromatic tuner and uh, preamp. Uh, it's a very nice guitar. The model number is a bit convoluted. Tanglewood has uh, long model numbers. It's D-B-T-S-F-C-E-B-W. And the B-W, of course, stands for Black Walnut in the back. It's a really nice little guitar. Uh, I think the smaller double uh, O, triple O size guitars, uh, or this sort of NEX, I think is what even as calls this shape, um, with the cutaway, are getting very popular. And as you know from my previous videos, I really like cedar top guitars. Um, there's a warmth to them that grows as the guitar ages. Um, the, I, th I think spruce has great definition, but if you really, if you're if you're a finger style player like myself, and you really like good bass tones, um, I, I tend to gravitate towards uh, cedar top guitars. Uh, this one's, uh, you know, uh, got the mahogany neck. It's bound all the way through with a cream binding and a, and a black purfling. Very very classic sort of design. Nothing um, too blingy about it. Uh, standard rosewood board with the uh, mother of pearl. Uh, very small dots on this, so it's. Um, I, I like it. I like the smaller dots uh, on um, acoustic guitars. Got the side dots as well, and then uh, it does the black capped key thing, uh, which uh, I really like. Sometimes when you, I'm setting up guitars um, that are 10, 15, 20 years old, I notice that the chrome keys uh, start getting. Um, rust pock marks uh, on the surface of the keys, probably from the sweat of the fingers or hands. Uh, so it's nice to have the capped keys. More and more more uh, manufacturers are doing this, uh, which I think is a nice <coughs> excuse me, feature. But it's just a really nice little uh, smaller body guitar. Um, sounds great plugged in. Uh, I'm not plugging it in, in, in right now because you'd only hear it through the, the camera uh, microphone. Uh, but it's got a nice system. It's not Fisherman or anything, but it's their pat uh, Tanglewood's patented uh, system. And it's got uh, um, a presence uh, of bass, middle, and treble sliders with a, a volume knob and a tuner button so you can engage the tuner um, and then engage the pickup with that single button. Fairly standard stuff, but uh, this is a really, really nice uh, smaller body model. I really like the black walnut. I hope you're seeing that in the light. It's just a really nice hardwood that you don't see quite as much. Um, you know, it's sort of like mahogany, but uh, uh, with a lot more figure, as you can see. Uh, it's really, really nice uh, touch on this particular guitar. And the second one I wanted to show you um, is this one here. And this is also a small body uh, guitar. It's the Tanglewood uh, Crossroads series guitar. Model number is uh, TMCROE, and it's they, they call it a folk guitar, sort of like a uh, a triple O, um, sort of going for the pre-war look here. Uh, and this is a really nice figured mahogany. Uh, not you don't see that too often. Uh, and they, they're calling this the whiskey barrel burst or the whiskey barrel finish. And I'm not a big lover of sunburst finishes. Um, 
I avoid them. I don't know why. I just never really like them. They're, they're ubiquitous in the guitar world. And I do have a Strat that's a Sunburst um, that I sort of lucked into. Uh, I didn't actually choose the guitar. I think I got it on a trade at some point, so I kept that. But I don't have uh, uh, too many Sunburst guitars. I don't really like the look. Um, this, but this, I like this Whiskey Burst. It's uh, it's subtle. It's nice. It's it's a very dark, beautiful uh, orange brown that uh, subtly fades to black towards the edges, and it has black binding. Um, so I think it's really nice. This one, uh, it looks to me like it has an ebony board. Either that, is, or it's really dark rosewood. Looks like ebony, um, and it has uh, I think maybe a cowrie shell or, or some sort of shell. Uh, thin um, rosette around the, the hole. Uh, again, Tanglewood's uh, patented uh, the same pickup systems I showed you on the other guitar. This time just chrome tinners. Um, and uh, these both say uh, United Kingdom on the back of the headstock. So uh, it is a, a British um, or a UK manufacturer. Which I like to promote because, you know, I, I, even though I live in the U.S., I'm, I'm British born and bred. Um, still hold a British passport, so uh, it's nice to promote a, a good British company. But Tanglewood Guitars, they make some really nice high-end stuff as well. Uh, I had uh, one of their, um, I think it's Discovery Series Cedar Top ones that was super guitar, really resonant. Um, so they make some really good mid-range stuff like this. I think this you can probably pick up around 200 and the other one around 250, 300. Um, but they also have some entry-level guitars and um, some really nice uh, handmade um, special edition type guitars as well that I think rival Breedlove, rival um, Guild perhaps, uh, uh, Blue Ridge, things like that uh, in their high end. And they make nice guitars. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. These are two Tanglewood guitars. I will put the model numbers on the description so that you can see those. Uh, but if you're lo looking for a smaller body guitar with a, a preamp on it uh, that's decently made, nice wood, a nice look, nice vintage look on this one, uh, sort of a, a, a going for the sort of blues post or, or, or between the war, um, uh, the smaller body guitars that were built uh, in that period, it's sort of going for that vibe. Uh, you know, if you want something like that, look at Tanglewood. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. See you next time.